So I was raised by a single mother, and we didn't always have that much money when I was growing up. So if we'd go to a restaurant we really couldn't afford, we would get one big meal, like a big potato, and share it. But I remember this one time we went to a restaurant. The waitress gets all upset. She's angry. She's like, you know, if you're going to share that, you're going to have to pay a sharing charge for $3. Is a $3 sharing charge. My mother has her own vocabulary. She says, well, really, I'm not sharing. I'm just going to be picking. I'm only picking. The waitress says, well, what's the difference between sharing and picking? My mother said, $3. <laughs> I live in New York City. I love it there. The thing is, we all have these really tiny apartments, you know? Everybody is such a small apartment. We're known for that. My apartment is so small, I have to keep certain things outside in the hallway. You know, like my bed. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't complain. My next door neighbor just got evicted. Now all his stuff is in the hallway. <laughs> now we're roommates. <laughs> it's hard to be single in New York City, so I did online dating. Online dating is annoying because people lie online all the time in their profile. You know, they lie about what they look like, what they do for a living. Then when you meet them, it's a whole different picture. Like I was talking to this guy online, true story. He told me he was 5'10". Then I met him in person. That turned out to be his weight. <laughs> and his profile said long walks on the beach. More like short drives to Burger King. <laughs> you see a lot of really weird things in New York City. This is famous. You see strange things there. Some of you guys are staring at me like, we're looking at a weird thing right now. <laughs> I was at a restaurant. There was a guy sitting there wearing three separate necklaces with a giant cross on each necklace. Now, even the Pope doesn't wear three giant crosses, right? So you got to think. you got to wonder. All right, if you're wearing one giant cross, you're religious, you're Christian, God bless. If you're wearing two giant crosses, you're religious, you're Christian, and you're probably afraid of vampires. If you're wearing three giant crosses on three separate necklaces, like you're trying to overcompensate for something, right? You're trying to cover something up. You're a Jew. <laughs> and just for the record, I sat there and I watched him, and he did pack up a doggy bag, including the ketchup bottle. So there you go. <laughs> Before I go, I want you guys to know I did go on a date recently. I want you to know I went on a third date with an attorney. Thank you very much, an attorney. I know, some of you guys are shocked, aren't you? You didn't think I could do it, did you? Little five foot, little classless me with an attorney. But that's what happens when you get a DUI. You meet attorneys. <laughs> I'm Sheba Mason, thank you very much.